the uh, blue was complaining about not being able to hurt something. I thought that was something only the reds could say. Interesting. Uh, so I'm going to run right into that. And I'm completely out of mana too. Waste it all on the um, other things. These, those slugs. Did you throw a bomb? If it, if you did, it kind of faded into the ether. Thanks. Not sure if that can do damage by impacting you. You'd think with those spikes it would, but I have no idea. Yeah, go shimmy that a bit closer. There we go. And now here's a new enemy. Don't remember what these guys are called. Okay, go kill him. Just need to get away from the bomb guy, and I'll be fine. Just die already. Come on, guys. Recall. Get that stuff in a moment. There we go. Now we can get it. A few upgrades there. So that's beautiful. Anyone need that? Apparently not. They they still might actually need it, but well, they aren't being cooperative, so they aren't getting it. Okay. You need this? Yes. You could uh, try uh, stand up top and um, try and tank the enemies there if you want, and uh, or try and uh, kill the enemies there with reds if you want it. But I'm just gonna do this. I see no reason not to. You could also try and uh, mini uh, use the fact that there's bombs here. But I feel no need, really. Okay. And that's it. See? Pretty easy. We'll just go break these. They might have some gubbins in there for me or for them. Either of which is pretty good. Oh, didn't think I'll get over here. Come on. There we go. No one needs them, apparently. Yes, they do need that. Beautiful. Now we some more here just decided to stand back and wait. Okay. I guess the other guys owed them tank weight. Hmm. Oh. I know that's a joke I keep going back to, but damn it, I, I'm starting to think it's true. Yeah, but that guy really likes doing that. Way too much. Memory serves, going up here is a bit of a nuisance. Um, so I want to be careful. I think it's just easy to lose minions up this way. Okay, recall. Okay, yes. Punch the four, that'll help. Let's just get rid of this guy before he actually manages to kill anyone with his bombs. And I love how the bomb just fades from reality because he didn't get to throw it. Also, the fact he just pulled the, the bomb out of nowhere because he wanted to throw it. It's just dwarven hammer, uh, dwarven hammer space. Because of course. Flamethrower is such a good spell. Recall. Okay. 
Go turn that. Go break that. You know, that's... Christ, there's a few there. That kind of looks like you can sweep them up here. And you can. But what would be the point? Oh, you're to sweep them up and around. Presume they're gonna all try and get back to me this way. They've got an empire? Is this one place their empire? Um, it's, you know, a pretty small empire. My empire is bigger, and I just started the other day. Like, shit. You know, if this is an empire, Ireland's a kingdom. Well, Ireland is. Well, not a kingdom, an empire. Huh. That was on principle. Dead to elves and all that. Come on. Drop it. Thank you. So, anyway. Got some other stuff to do this way. I don't think I can go that way. I can send my minions over to fight those guys, but I don't think I can go that way myself yet. I have to go the uh, long way. Get rid of this guy, then the rest of these will. Be oh shit! Fuck, he's got a golf club, but he's not important enough. He's wielding very good equipment, but he's not, um... Ah, uh, it's not good enough. <laughs> it's just I would have to go back to... Wait really far, I think, to, uh, save him. So, no. That is actually a bit of a nuisance, though. Just charge. Recall. Uh, everyone up here. Good little idiots. At least with the harvesting helm, the losses aren't too bad. Um, they can easily be replaced. You know, I'm getting back. You know, I. Right. For every life force I gain, I gain. T um, I I double it basically, which is very very handy. It's, it's 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 exceedingly useful. Oh, damn it! Some of them want that, but they can't get it. Um, it's exceedingly useful. So yeah. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, basically with the harvesting helm, every loss I can easily replace. Um, so it's not too bad on that front. But the front the issue becomes just basically getting the equipment again, and I'm not sure if I can. I would want to run through the entirety of the Mellow Hills Abyss to see if the enemies that drop it respawn. If they respawn, then it's not... then they're like the golf club enemies. If they respawn at all, then it's not too much for us. If they don't, then that gear needs to be treated on par with hero gear. In the regards that, you know, it's... Once it's lost, it's impossible to get again fact, I'm actually going to go and have a run through um, going to go and have a run through Mel, uh, the Mellow Hills Abyss to see if that's the case. I'm going to go through it at a quick um, stride so if, you know, I have no inclination to go through it slowly. Uh, Browns, come on. Grab another sheep head while we're there. I want to pop into the uh, Heaven's Peak Abyss and see if I can grab another sheep head there as well. It's always, it's always a handy idea to ha you know have plenty of sheep heads on hand. Fish heads, fish heads. I don't else remember that episode of Simpsons where it turns out Bart had a conjoined um, had a conjoined twin, and Bart was the evil one. They kept the other uh, the, the other twin in the attic. Uh, I just fed it fish heads once a week. 
That was a weird uh, Halloween episode. I remember when I saw the um, the uh, Halloween uh, the Treehouse of Horror episode, where it was basically um, oh, it was a reference to some other property. I don't remember what one though. Um, it's uh, I think it was I Am Legend. I think they're trying to reference or something. Um, but ba basically, uh, Krusty. Um, it makes a new burger where it's uh, it's cow meat. It, it, it's uh, cow meat that's been uh, for, it, it's meat from cows that have been f f fed other cows, and everyone who eats eats them becomes munchers, um, b basically zombies. And Bart is the chosen one who's uh, completely immune to it, and can uh, he has to bathe in all their food. To make it, um, to turn them back human and whatnot. Okay, you know what? Like I said, quick pace, not just pissing around. I'm sweating like a sheep on market day. A up. Hey, this chain's a longer than mine. But anyway, um, yeah, I remember that really messing with me as a kid. I don't know why, but it just, it just really, it hit the wrong nerve or something, you know. So yeah, it just really screwed with me. Thankfully, the sheep aren't intelligent enough to truly capitalize on their, uh, you know, our, their explosive capabilities. Okay, go fight, kill, get the helmet. I don't know where it is, but I'm concerned now. Maybe it's not going to drop again. Actually, very concerned. It's not going to drop again. It's, it is actually kind of a stressful thing because, you know, I, I would love to have a full sheep head um, brown army. Because imagine, just that'll be a you know a lovely thing to see. Just love the. Minion, like, uh, uh, sorry, the half ones just spawning in with absolutely no fanfare, just appearing. And by love, I mean it does, it, it's a uh, recall. It kind of takes away from the uh, immersion, but well, whatever. Recall! Idiots. No idea why they aren't dropping sheep heads anymore. Because, you know, I was getting them before, and yet not now. Weird. Regardless, um, I'm not here to just get sheep heads. I'm to here to get um, some, the other thing. I wonder, are they still doing Treehouse of Horrors now? Probably. Probably. wonder what John Swartzwater is getting up to. He used to be a writer on The Simpsons. Um, wrote 59 episodes, I think. Um, and he ne has never appeared on a commentary. They apparently called... Uh, um, they did this one thing during when the commentaries called him up. But, uh, though... The guy on the phone claimed it wasn't John Swartzwater. It was actually his brother... For some reason, he was uh, growing a steak at three in the morning. I just remember that. I remember hearing it, uh, listening to that. We had no internet for a while. I remember watching some of the old uh, Simpsons episodes on commentary. Hey. 
Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking about one Simpsons episode I just really don't like. I'm getting very distracted. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to some Simpsons episodes and commentary, and it was fun enough. Until I stumbled into that one episode, but yeah. It was good otherwise. It was Lisa versus Malibu Stacy. Just, uh. I don't know. It. Maybe I'm. Um, like, sometimes I have a difficulty. Ooh, good. They got one of the. I think it was just a bit of chest armor. I, damn, I thought it was one of the masks they can get from here. The mask is pretty good. Um. Actually, I think it's from a particular type of enemy in the abysses, not the chests or containers. Uh, so it was torso armor or something. But, um. Oh, what's the other body thing? It was, yeah, at least for Smellable Stacy. Uh, I feel a little awkward talking about it just purely because it's a. Well, uh, like explaining why I have issues with it. It was it was partially the commentary, partially, partially a joke in it, but part of the reason why I'm awkward in explaining it is uh, just like maybe the commentary what they said was meant to be a joke, and I just didn't get it. Like I remember one guy he was talking about one of the guys off Top Gear. He was a, uh, being a major con to someone, or, and or hit someone. I I vaguely remember it. Maybe I'm wrong. In which case I apologize. I just remember hearing something like that. Someone off that show did something really stupid, basically. And it sounded like the talk show host was condoning what he was saying, endorsing it. When in reality, he was actually being quite sarcastic. But I just didn't hear the sarcasm. So, maybe th that, that was the case. Um, with the bit of commentary I was hating. But, I have no idea. I have no idea. And uh, no, it doesn't seem like the uh, other guys respawn here. And yeah, those sheep seem to be pretty immortal. It's not even like you have to kill them and not let them explode or something. You have to let them explode. You just have to try and make sure they don't kill your minions. No, someone got the head. Recall. So it's not just the Explodo sheeps that give it. It's not just them. It's, the, it's uh, it can be the other sheep as well. I wonder would Reds be immune to it? Probably not. The force of the explosion will probably kill the Reds. But, uh, yeah, anyway, John Swalswater, he, um, recall. Uh, get away from it, G.A.D. Uh, yeah, he was a writer in his own right. Um, he wrote quite a few other books. I remember, uh, Mac Raining was actually talking about it at the start of, uh, well, in, during one of the commentaries. Um, the, uh, Swalswold, one of Swalswolder's other books, uh, it doesn't quite start with it, as Matt Groening claims, but it's uh, quite early on in the book. Well, one of the first lines of the book is, As my story begins, I'm being punched in the stomach. Um, it was like... I've never really read enough of the books to really describe them, but they follow this one... It, they're funny books, follow this one... Um, P.I. guy, or whatever he's meant to be. And, yeah... From what I've read, which is like the Amazon clip, uh, they seem pretty good, but I, like I said, I haven't seen much. So, yeah. Come on. Why are you glitched? Come on. Fuck. Run. I don't know how it even got glitched there, but there you go. There's. It, that's the game for you. 
But yeah, um, like I said, I don't really know too. I, 